Well, hello, everybody. Um, I'd like to start off by introducing myself. I'm Chris, but we all know each other. Just in case somebody's not. I'm the father of the bride, or as some refer, an FOB. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> typically, I'm, <laughs> typically, I'm used to being called an SOB, so this is kind of a nice change. <laughs> so, hey. What do you guys think of this place? Is this awesome? Yeah, what a beautiful venue. I'm glad y'all came. Um, so it turns out I married a wedding planner. Uh, I'll tell you, all of this could not have happened without the help of my beautiful wife. Sherry, you're the best. Yeah. Um, Also, I'd like to take some time to thank everybody for taking time to be part of this special occasion. Um, you know, from what I'm being told, there's about 70 people here tonight. And, I mean, that's awesome, man. You guys all found time to come down here and be part of this. So, I want to thank. Um, yeah, we're at, basically we're at about 70, and then 72 if you count the wedding crashers. I don't know. I'm not really sure where they're at. There he is. Um, just to give you an idea, besides being Bay Area strong, or California strong, uh, we have guests from Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. Shout out for New Jersey. Yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. Nice. Um, Kansas City, where's the Kansas City crowd? Kansas City! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Washington? Yeah! Woo. Oregon? Yeah. yeah! Arizona? Yeah! Back there? Yeah! And then um, Vegas, Las Vegas! Yeah. Anyway, I thank you all for coming. I um, also want to take a moment to remember the loved ones who would be here but are no longer with us. Um, of course, Dennis's wife, Jenny. Um, Jake and Becca's cousin, Flynn. Flynn Post. My father, Frank Baring. Nikki's aunt, Lori Baring. Sean and Nikki's grandparents, Etta and Bernie Mastic. Their spirits are with us, and like us, they are smiling upon this wonderful occasion. Yes. So, before I get started with Nikki and Jake, um, if it looks like I'm crying, understand it's actually a allergic reaction to a tie. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned that often. Yeah. I've had it since I was a kid. <laughs> so, wow. Doesn't Nikki look beautiful? Yeah! That makes a father proud. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, Jake. Right. <laughs> so, you know, people think they can prepare themselves for this, but uh, I'll be honest, man, you can't. No matter how much you try, you can't. You know, it's it's, it's wonderful. So, instead of getting into past moments, I'm going to play the father role here and. I, I want to spend a few moments to talk about the wonderful days in front of you two. Okay. I put some ideas together that could help keep your marriage strong for years to come. Right? Communication. 
Let each other know how you feel. Remember, no matter how long you've known each other, you can't read minds. You gotta talk to each other. Say I love you. Saying those weirds, excuse me, weirds. <laughs> Saying those words to each other is a must. You need to hear those words. So, um, a couple more subjects. Lower your expectations. Don't expect perfection. Really? No, I'm serious. I can speak for every man here. We're not perfect. Ask my wife. <laughs> Learn to forgive. You have to be willing to accept apologies. There's no place in America to hold grudges. <coughs> Laugh. Well, that won't be a hard thing to do in this family. But, but remember, it's important to learn to laugh at yourself. Respect each other. Even though it may not be your opinion, you should re expect, respect each other's likes and dislikes. Right? Guys, the point I'm trying to get across, marriage is not a mystery. It's a journey. A journey that will take work, mutual